A brand new promo for the upcoming Fox film Deadpool aired last night, confirming that a new trailer for the film will arrive on Christmas Day. Reports claim that the new trailer will have both a traditional green band version as well as a red band version, and we all know which one we're more interested in. This new poster for Deadpool also recently arrived online, claiming, wait till you get a load of me. John, what are you looking forward to the new Deadpool spots? First of all, it's a testament to my... 12 year old maturity level <laughs> that the double entendre of this movie poster I saw this poster and I laugh my freaking head off for about a good solid two minutes I, this, this is such a brilliant poster that just affirms how smart, how brilliant, how, how much Fox has their fingers on the pulse of how to market this Deadpool movie, mm -hmm. which just makes me lament all the more as how you can be so freaking clueless when it comes to Fantastic Four, but you can nail Deadpool <laughs> so absolutely That's perfectly. Right. Completely nailed. The marketing campaign for Deadpool is going to end up being one of my top 10 favorite movies in 2016. <laughs> Not necessarily the Deadpool movie, mm -hmm. but the yeah. marketing campaign. Everything they're doing with this thing is brilliant. From the post of that TV ad is like, hi, I'm Deadpool, the other guy in the red suit with a lap worth sitting on. I mean, yeah. come on, everything he's been doing in this has been so spot on and fun. I am just completely entertained mm -hmm. by the marketing campaign. I can't remember the last time I felt this way about a marketing campaign for the movie. I look forward to every little thing they put out because everything they put out is fun and entertaining and funny and I just can't oh man, I just hope the movie doesn't suck now. What a punch in the bag that I would know. be if the movie sucks oh. at this point. I and mean, Mark, you had a chance to see all this stuff. What do you think about I think it? when Deadpool comes out and it is successful and it will be, the first person in line after you throw a boatload of money at Ryan Reynolds to come back is the promotions department. Oh, yeah. They all deserve a raise for stuff like this because this isn't the first we've seen of Deadpool. Everything that we have seen has been so funny and just know that the comedy is fantastic. It's just exactly what Deadpool fans want to see. They've been clamoring for this for so long and they're just knocking it out of the park. And then then when you see the promo, it's hilarious. The promo for the promo is hysterical. Yep. When you can, it's so meta to think the promo for the promo for the promo is great, and it is. I love everything Deadpool's doing right now. I can't imagine the movie lives up to it. I, <laughs> I, I, I know, great, I know. But nothing's gonna make uh, me laugh more than this or that little bit, the, the little thing that we saw today where they're they're advertising the 12 days of Christmas. Right. My question is, the official trailer drops on Christmas, right? Yeah. Yes. There's got to be something that they're putting before the Force Awakens because everybody's seen right. that screenshot of right. all these IMAX trailers that are supposedly gonna be there. So is it Deadpool specifically referencing Star Wars? Is it the promo we saw online? I'm curious to see what that is. I wonder sure. if that's just another secret viral campaign. I'd love to see him thing. making fun of Star, Star Wars. Wars. That oh, would, yeah, that would be. Be amazing Great. yeah i agree uh, before i see deadpool i'm gonna see all of these viral little him at the, with the kids in halloween him when they announce that they're doing an r rating i want to watch all of that as one like little mini movie you know what i mean oh yeah like, it could almost be an hour worth of like fun viral <laughs> campaign stuff uh remember i predicted it's gonna make over a hundred million dollars opening weekend i said that like six months ago <laughs> i still don't think it will but man i hope you're right i i know i'll be there i think the the viral campaign the way they're running this is incredible you're right like anybody who's like got a brain who is a producer hire this viral marketing campaign team these are the people who should have put out john carter because they would have yes. put it out or they would have done it right they would have done the live die repeat i don't know what the edge of whatever it was called they would have like at least retitled it or let it be something you would have remembered it would have been a hit because they're doing everything right to sell this character and to get people into the idea that this character breaks the fourth wall he's broken the fourth wall repeatedly so when you finally see the film and he's doing it it's not going to be weird it's actually going to be natural they're building this character that is literally an unknown to everyone who's not a comic book nerd or, or you know cartoon nerd this is a character who's grown up like in the media so it's like he doesn't have a first movie he doesn't have a well we can't really count x-men origins because that was no the we worst not introduction to a character you could possibly imagine <laughs> they sewed his mouth shut so it's it's actually somebody who's coming back from the dead so i think this is a fantastic really fun way to tease a movie i'm more excited to see this movie now than ever now to to reference the whole breaking the fourth wall right. spot the spot they ran specifically for espn last night the one they ran on sports center had what's the guy from um from Silicon Valley, who plays his best friend in the movie. Uh, T.J. Miller. T.J. Miller. Yeah. T.J. Miller's actually in the spot with them, and Deadpool's going on, and then finally T.J. Miller's like, who are you talking to? Which is a, which 
Somebody who's not a Deadpool yeah. fan will not will go over their head a little bit, but people who are Deadpool fans is like the total reference to the fourth yeah. wall. Now, here's the real litmus test, Natasha. I mean, now, as somebody at this table who is not like a hardcore comic book nerd, mm -hmm. what are you <laughs> thinking of this Deadpool stuff that you've been seeing so far? I mean, it's definitely attention grabbing. I just <laughs> I was scrolling down in my show notes and I saw it and I think my words were, oh, okay. <laughs> so now being introduced into, you know, all of these movies, I'm like, all right, let's see what's going to happen next. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.